reporting to you live from my floor. Hello everybody and welcome back to an extra special bonus video. So as many of you are aware, this week the Nintendo Switch came out. As I'm recording this video, it's Friday. I think it's gonna be uploaded on Saturday though. And so last night I went to a midnight release at Best Buy to get the Nintendo Switch and to more importantly get Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm filled with a lot of emotions right now guys. So for a while now I've wanted to integrate gaming into my channel and I thought a really good way to start that off would be would be to do an unboxing of the Nintendo Switch and the little accessories that I got for it. So that's what we're doing. I am not a professional, nor do I claim to have any sort of skill. So starting with the big kahuna, let's unbox the Switch. Mm, this seems like a good idea. Ooh, look at it. There it is. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Okay, so taking this like top little part off, this clearly has the screen and the two controllers, and I got mine in the multicolor. Uh, I was very on the fence of which one I wanted, the classic or the multicolor. But the multicolor is limited, and I just thought it would be more fun, so I ended up going with that one, because I'm a sucker for anybody being like, oh, this is limited, this is exclusive. I'm trash, is what I'm saying. Okay, so it looks like the other things that we've got in here are, which cable are you? I'm so good at unboxing technology. Okay, well, we've got a cable. We've got the power adapter. This holds your your two two pieces of your controller together. We've got some straps, oop, all right. We've got a strap for the controller. I think it came with one more, maybe not? Oh yes, right here, two of them. We've got a boyfriend that's just entered my room in the background. That's a thing. If you hear some great dog ASMR happening in the background right now, it's because Max is on my bed with my boyfriend who's like rubbing his ear. Okay, and it looks like the other stuff that we've got in the box besides a little instruction booklet is this, which has to be the actual like physical console. Ta-da! And we've got a whole bunch of handy dandy instructions happening up here. So, uh, it looks like in order to first start setting this up, um, we have to put all these pieces together. So let's do that. That is much tinier than anticipated. It is tinier than anticipated, actually. It is. Like, look at that screen. But that makes sense because it's portable. Okay, it looks like that slides right in. Oh, so cool. And it makes a little click. Oh, I'm getting pumped now. Woo, look at that. The buttons are cool. The buttons are really nice. I like how matte the controllers are. Like, I feel like the multi the multicolor version, if it were like glossy, would look stupid, but the matte looks really nice. You don't need this for now, I don't think, because this is what holds those two joysticks together when they're not on the screen. So we can just put this back in the box for now. Okay, so the first step is that we have to plug this power cable in. Whoa! Little little battery thing just popped up. Uh, when attached, oh, oh, it's lighting up. It's doing things. It's doing things. Ah! Ooh. Hello! Searching for networks. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna have to set it up to the Wi-Fi. Successfully connected! Okay, cool. That's always like the one thing you worry about is like, is it gonna connect to the Wi-Fi? And it did. We've moved and the lighting is not optimal because I look, you know, orange, but as you do. So we're gonna actually plug this into my computer. So it looks like what we need is um, this, which is the dock that the back opens up from. We need this AC adapter that I've plugged in right now. Hopefully this won't die when I plug it into there. Uh, and we need the HDMI cable, which I have right here. Yeah. Okay, it's got, oh, that's cool. The console actually tells you how much battery it has left. This is 56% left. Wonder what percent charge it was when I took it out. Cause I, I wonder how long it takes to charge. That'll be really interesting to find out. So we're plugging the AC adapter in and then we are plugging in the HDMI cable. And I'm gonna move this T cause I don't trust myself. And it looks like both of these cords go right through the back of it. So you can actually close it, which is useful. Cause for a moment there, I was like, I wonder how that works. And now we have success and I can and set my icon and my nickname and all that jazz. So I have to say that like for the most part that was a really easy installation. Like they walk you through it pretty specifically and easily. So now that I've done all that and set up my nickname and my little profile user which is Wind Waker Zelda because she's my everything. I also want to unbox for you guys this um, it's called the Lynx Tunic Edition Starter Kit. Last night when I was online I was like looking at the little sheet that they handed 
us of the things that would be available and I realized I wanted a screen protector and since this is like completely marketed as being transportable I really wanted to get some sort of case for it and so I saw this I really instantly fell in love it wasn't that much money so I ended up buying it and I actually got the last one. Oh, it's so pretty online I honestly wasn't interested at all in this product because I felt like it looked stupid online but in person it looks really clean cut and cool and it's a really nice hard case and on the back of it it's got the Breath of the Wild Zelda logo and I'm obsessed. Okay so when you open it up it's got the little screen protector in here which I'm gonna put on mine in just a minute and then it's got all of these little holes holsters for all of your games and then this is where you'd obviously put the actual screen uh, so that's I think a really good carrying case it's nice on the inside there's a little bit of velcro to keep it in there so I'm pretty happy with this purchase because I need something to protect it I know myself know yourself it looks like it has come with a pair of headphones are you kidding me Zelda headphones how dare you and we've got these little like imprinted I don't think you can see the detail on there but you've got these little like imprinted um, uh, joystick protectors oh those are thumb caps those are thumb caps that's awesome that's great so in total what this came with was a sturdy case to store and protect the console it included the Joy-Con armor guards thumb caps earbuds and cleaning cloth and all of it is detailed with Zelda themed designs which I'm just in love with that's all I really want in my life is Zelda themed things and Harry Potter themed things you know you got to give with both hands so I think for today that wraps up any sort of unboxing that I was gonna do for the Nintendo switch I know not the most professional of videos but I just kind of wanted to capture it on screen because I'm not a professional and so if you're looking to buy this and set this up for yourself and you're like, uh, what are all these like very in tune gaming nerds doing? Uh, I'm I'm one of you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you bought the Nintendo Switch, let me know how you're liking it. I'm sure that I will be in a Breath of the Wild hole for like the next month or so. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, share this video with a friend, and subscribe for more videos like this because I will have gameplay videos coming out soon. Such excite. If you want to find me on other social media, I'm at Shut Up Kristen pretty much on all of the websites. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye!